Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm Deb from Doodle Dash Creatives. Today I'm going to show you a quick video on how to make a furniture transfer look a little bit more vintagey or muted um, by applying a wash over the top of it. So if you've not tried this little technique before, it's well worth a try. Um, do have a go. Let me know how you get on in the comments. I always love to get feedback on my little tips. Um, and yeah, if you enjoy the video, please do give us a thumbs up and of course, click on the subscribe and notification bell for any future uploads that I do. Okay, hope you enjoy this one. Have a go. Let me know how you get on. Bye. Right, okay, so um, we've painted our project. We're going to apply a furniture transfer. This is the one that I've been um, using on the piece of furniture that I'll show you when I'm finished. Um, it's English Toile by Iron Orchid Designs. But I want it to have more of a vintage, sort of, you know, more of a subtle look than just straight transfer onto, onto paint. So I'm just going to show you what we're doing. So this has already been painted. Um, you probably won't recognise the colour from the French Chic Rain because it's one that's actually been discontinued um, probably five years ago. I just found it in my workshop and I thought I've just got to use it. Still perfectly good to use. So this is just um, from the original Artisan range. So um, a traditional chalk paint that needs sealing and then when you're using transfers you do need to seal your project first because uh, chalk paint can be quite dusty and you don't want to cause any issues with your transfer sticking. So I'm going to seal this first with the French Chic finishing coat. It won't be very much at all. Um, and on flat surfaces I generally just use a sponge, put a bit into a pot, squeeze it out on the side, you really don't need very much, and just go all over the chalk paint, less is more, you don't want to see any whiteness, um, it will dry clear and that it will be perfectly ready to use. Now you can leave that to dry naturally, um, 20 minutes probably at normal room temperature but I'm just going to use hair dry to speed it up a little bit. dry enough. Now you do need to make sure that your project is properly dry before um, applying your transfer because it will not like having moisture trapped underneath it and you won't get a good adhesion. So okay I've already um, cut this to size. As you can see from the iron orchid design transfers they come on a grid so it's quite easy to cut out the area that you need um, but also to match up patterns if you need to. So I'm just going to peel the backing off and pop that into place. Okay. So I just need to make sure that it's pressed down into position and then you use the applicator stick that comes with every transfer just to rub the transfer and you just rub all the way over it until it has stuck down to your project. Now sometimes you'll be able to create a bubble in it and you can sort of run with that and it actually helps you sort of just make it a little bit quicker. And just keep going and you can just keep checking so I usually start start at a corner and just lift the paper up and you can see actually that hasn't stuck so I need to go back 
just rub a little bit harder and you'll see that when it actually does attach to your project it's sort of the film will almost go translucent so you can see that it's stuck like you can see now that's come off and also you can see where you can create that bubble and sort of catch a wave now it's, it's coming off nicely now there we go that's catching that bubble Now, ideally, you would allow this to dry naturally. Give it 20 minutes before um, starting to do this process. But, you know, know the rules and break the rules. And do as I say, not as I do. Right, that's coming away nicely now. lift it up if there's any bits that haven't detached properly there you can see that little bit they push pop it back down and go back over it again okay. Okay, I think oh, it's just one tiny little bit there just line that back up Perfect. Okay, so now that's um, completely applied to the wood. Um, but now we need to burnish it. And you might have heard that word banded about. Basically, it's just making sure that it's really, really um, adhered to your project. So we just use the film that it comes on and just press down and rub over. Making sure that that is properly adhered in all places. Okay, so there you are, and that's what it looks like. Um, now, I want to make this look a little bit more vintagey, so I want to apply a wash over the top to take it down, make it a little bit more subtle, and make it just look a little bit older. But before I do that, Again, I need to seal it because the wash is going to um, introduce moisture to the project. We don't want to reactivate the chalk paint or for it to lift up this transfer. So we're going to go back in and seal that transfer with the finishing coat again. Any water-based top coat would be absolutely fine. And again, I'm just going back over that. seal that transfer in. Okay, so get that out of the way and we'll get the hairdryer on that again. If you wanted to um, distress this a little bit, you could use a fine grained sandpaper um, and just go over it gently, and that will just, um, you know, distress it slightly. Um, I'm not going to do that on this one, but as I say, you can if you wanted to. Um, so what I'm going to do now is apply a wash. Now, all I've done is put a teaspoon of um, a grey chalk paint Poschinelli from French Chic into a pot and added the equivalent amount of water. So it's just a 50-50 mix of paint and water. And all I'm going to do now is just literally slosh that all over my project. Now if you're working on a big area then you might need to work in sections. But obviously for this little sample I can just cover the whole area. There you 
go and once that's covered you can then just take a paper towel drop cloth um, a tea towel anything you like to remove the excess and you can do that by dabbing wiping whatever you want to do now if you've got some texture in your cloth then that is going to create a slight pattern on your on your pro, um, on your project too so you do need to keep moving it about um, until you get to the look that you're wanting so I'm just going to keep dabbing this and you see how that's taken that down and made that look a lot older and a lot more subtle. Now, if you want to make this look a little bit more variated, then you can take your cloth and just dab it in a bit of water. Make sure you squeeze out the excess because you don't want it to be too wet. And then come back in with just clear water. And again, just dab, dab all over in the areas where you want to remove some of that wash. And you can do any sort of motion. Just keep an eye on it until you get to the look that you're going for. And then you might want to come in and rub around the edges. And if you go too far um, and you think, oh, I wish I hadn't have done that, then you can come back in and put more wash over the top. Okay, so once you get to a position where you're really happy with the look that you've created, then you can seal it and you can either do that with your top coat again or you can come back in with um, with the wax and it just gives it a really different vintagey feel. So if you haven't tried um, painting over transfers before, then definitely give it a go. Um, be really interested to see how you get on. So do share your pictures in my, um, my creative group, which is Doodle Dash Creatives. Please join if you're not already a member. Give it a go. Let me know how you get on. Um, all of the products that I use, French Chic and Iron Orchid Designs, are all on my website, which is doodledash.co.uk. Um, have a go. It's, it's great fun. It completely changes the look. And um, it just gives it that vintage feel.